we'll start with the first step, which is to prepare the cable and thimble for the splicing process. The first thing I would do is to secure the thimble to the cable. In this case, I'm using zip ties, but the correct way to do this is to put it in a vise, hold it in place, and then use safety wire. So that's the first step right there, it's just to get it secured to the thimble and get it tight. So now that you got that, the second step would be to spread each individual strand. Now on this cable, this is a... Um, A 7 by 19 and what that means is there are seven total strands there are six exterior strands but there is one strand in the center the core that is perfectly straight and that straight core is the one that keeps the shape of the cable as it flexes You can see the core now is the one that does not, see how this is curved and that one's straight, this is the core piece. The third step would be to trim the cord, that center core, and you want to cut this as close as possible to the thimble. Cutting shears right here. And right where that thimble ends, that's right where you want that cable to be cut. So you can see here that as the cable falls over the top, we're going to try to identify which one we want to use as the number one. Now this one here looks like it would probably go underneath better. So we're going to use this one. See how that one kind of falls right off the, the top cable and blends into the bottom? Well, that one there we're going to call as number one. And I've tried a lot of different methods to try to identify which one's number one. But I find that the easiest method is to make it shorter than the rest. Take off about an inch, inch and a half, and when you line them all up, it'll be quite obvious which one is number one. So we take number one, the shortest one, and if you look at the cable here, you're going to have the first three strands will all tuck underneath that first one, but they're going to go under the three for number one. So what I want to do is I want to identify where it's going to blend in. I'm going to say right about there. So we'll count back three right about here. Get the one two, and then three of them lifted. You have to check to make sure you didn't pick up or splice that center core. And using a flat screwdriver, you'll rotate it to open that up. Take the shortest one, that number one cable, and slide it under all three strands. And then pull it tight.
the next one, our number two strand, which is this one, that one will go under two. So I have to separate two of those three. Turn the screwdriver to make an opening, take our number two strand, and slide it in the hole. Now we got our number three strand, which it can get confusing. So you gotta see, there it is right there, that's number three. And on this one, there's only one strand that it goes under. So, I'll put that in, I'll rotate it. And slide our number three strand through there. Now you can see one, two, and three each have a thread. Now our next strand, this will be number four. This one has to go under that one strand. So we're going to Separate it with our screwdriver. All right, you can see one, two, three, and four. Two more to go. Our next strand is going to be the next one in line. You see how we go under that one? We'll separate with our screwdriver the very next one. Here's our next, our fifth strand goes in there. We got one left to go. Now, that's our last strand. It just goes under that one there. All right, so now we've got our first set of tucks in there. And you'll know you got it right when there is, a, for every strand sticking out, there's a single strand between them. See how that is? Now it's important before you get too far into it to make sure that all of these cables have been pulled as tight as you can get them. Otherwise they'll start to separate right there. The second tuck starts with the number one. So we identify it by which one is the shortest. This is where if you're following the, the uh, directions, you can see that it comes out right here. We need to go over that one and under the next one underneath it. So if you go over one, under two. So we're gonna separate. You see here, we're gonna separate this one. Let me flip around. So our shorter cable, our number one, has to go under over two, under one, over one, under two, excuse me. So we separate it like that. We've got under this cable, there you go. So now we have two strands captured by the screwdriver. This one's gonna go over one, under two, and you'll know that you started this, the next set of tucks by the fact that you will have two of them coming out of the same area. See, I got two of them coming out of the same cable? And of course, the shorter one, the one on top, you see, that's the one we just did. So now all of them follow the same course. You see this one here? You need to pick up the one that's under it and the one that's over it. One under, 
turn it over. You see? Over one, under two. And then, here we go. That's number three here. We need to pick up the one underneath it. This is the, if you follow that along, it goes underneath here. And, and then pick up two, see that? It goes over one, under two. You just keep repeating that. Wrong one. Okay. And so now we've, we're back to the spot where we have two coming out of the same one. But the, the one that's shorter, that's the number one, we have to pick the number five, the longer one. That's the one that we finish with. And so you see how it comes out there. We're going to pick up the strand that's just beneath it, the one just above it. Isolate those. Open that up. So now we've finished basically the second tuck and of course you can see it's starting to take shape now as you're looking at it every one of these cables every one of these cables has its own it's dividing a strand at one at a time there's no, no two coming out of any one splice so now we're back to it and again the shortest one is number one So now we're beginning the third tuck. And so we start over here. You can see that it has, it has to go over one, under two. Open that up. And you'll know where you're at by the fact that we will be, uh, we will have two coming out of the same strand. You see that? The long one and the short one. The short one is the number one. The long one is the number six. So we start with number two. Number two here. We have to go over one, under two. So we're gonna... We're gonna separate. There we go, separate two. It goes over one, under two, and that is thread number two. See, so I got one and six, number two, and now we're back to this one. This is strand number three. So strand number three, we're going to go underneath this strand here, so I follow that over, we're going to go under this strand and pick up two of them, and so it goes over, over one, under two, and let's make sure all of those Errant strands go in like they're supposed to. Okay. 
on to the next one. So this split, if we trace that down to where we're clear of all the other splices, we're going to go here and here. We pick up two of them. This goes over the top one, under the both of them. Under one, under two. We're almost there. This is number five. Number five comes out between these two strands. So we pick up the one underneath and the one just above it. So we get two of them. Spread it with the screwdriver. Put strand number five in. And now we've got these two here. One's obviously longer than the other because we're finishing the tuck. We're finishing the third tuck. We need to make sure that we use the longer of the two. So they both come out of here. We follow that strand up and we go under, under one. There we go, there's two of them. Open that up, take the longer of the two, push that through. So this is the third tuck. And as you go through and start from the very beginning, the shorter one, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if you look, that is uh, the first tuck that joined them together. Two, that's the finish of the third tuck. Now, according to the directions, this is where you're going to finalize this by tucking it back in in the opposite direction. However, uh, I've seen in the Vintage Aviator and other places, they actually add twice the, the, the length of the thimble. They do twice the length. So you can put a fourth set of tucks to extend that. It really doesn't make much of a difference in strength. Um, according to NACA report number three, uh, the strength of this weave reduces the rating of the cable by 25% and almost always breaks where the first tuck is, regardless of how many. So. So now to finish this up, we use two, four, and six. And what we do is, is we're going to go over the top, under two, and we're going to go in this direction. Again, there's... So this is splice number two. Now we're going to skip number three. One, two, three. We're going to take splice number four. And we have to go over one, under two. So we're going to pick up where this one comes out. So now we've got it's this one. This one is going to go over one, under two. It's going in the opposite direction as the other ones. Last one, number six. Number six goes over one, under two. So you can see there's the one. We come under the strand that just came out. We lift up two more. And 
this last one slips through. That is the last of all the tucks. Okay. So now the next step in all of this is to start trimming off the strands as close as you can. one okay so there we are there what we'll do is we'll take it and take a rubber mallet to it and hammer all this out and it will leave these little pieces here sticking out we'll have to trim them a second time all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hammer and we're just going to the kinks that are in there so the end product looks like that not too bad now, you're going to have those pieces that we cut off are sharp, and this is where you'll wrap uh, either rib stitch cord and then dope it so it doesn't come apart, or you can use um, safety wire, push it through and wrap it on, and the purpose of that is to hide these sharp edges that are sticking out.